Now, Dr. Veena Rainan has been appointed as the next chair chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization. He has taken charge from a former chief, Dr. S. Somanath. Dr. Narayanan's four-decade-long career has seen many significant contributions to cryogenic engine technology. He also played a key role in Chandrayaan 2 and 3 missions while his early years focused on solid propulsion. He was later appointed as the director of Liquid Propulsion System Centers at ISRO. And the cryogenic engine specialist, Dr. V. Narayanan, has helped in the human rating of the launch vehicle Mark III or the Bahubal rocket so that it is ready to fly Indian astronauts or Gaganyatris, as India calls them, on New Delhi's human space flight, the Gaganyan mission. Listen in as he talks exclusively to NDTV science editor Pallav Bagla. I have with me Dr. V. Narayanan. He's the director of the Liquid Propulsion System Center of the Indian Space Research Organization and somebody who helped master this complex technology. Why is it so difficult to master this technology? See, we use chemical propulsion systems in the launch vehicles. Among chemical propulsion system, the cryogenic propulsion system, wherein we use extreme low temperature liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen as the propellant combination, gives the maximum performance. Now, but why, why there's so many pipes? It is looking so complicated. Uh, do you know what? What is flowing? You have to put liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen. It will burn. What is there? <laughs> it is not that easy. See, basically, when you take a liquid, uh, liquid cryogenic, I mean, when you take hydrogen, a, no, when you take a hydro, I mean, cryogenic rocket engine, it is so complex due to multiple reasons. Number one, the propellant is at extreme low temperature. Hydrogen is at minus 253 degree centigrade. You know, water will freeze at 0 degree Celsius. And from that 253, we have to go down to liquefy liquid hydrogen. And oxygen is also at extremely low temperature. So producing such a low temperature propellant and maintaining at that temperature itself is a complex problem. So are we in readiness of Gaganyaan? No, if you ask this one, say the, the Gaganyaan development has got multiple things. One is human rating of the vehicle. In my opinion, human rating of the vehicle is almost completed. Then we are having orbital module system development. That development, that's a new development that is going on. Then we are having crew escape system development. That development, you all aware, just last year we had a successful demonstration yes. and multiple demonstrations we have to do. That one of the tests we have done and multiple demonstrations we have to carry out. Then the, to keep the crew safe, we are having a system called environmental control and safety system. Basically, we have to maintain the oxygen content, and remove the CO2 the can dioxide. remove the carbon dioxide. We have to maintain the required temperature, late humidity, and all the things we have to do. Those development, that is also a new development. All the developments are going on. As on date, as ISRO chairman, Mr. Somanath ji, he has declared we are ready for the first G1 mission, wherein we are going to fly the rocket without the actual crew. For that, we are ready. Remaining, all the developments are going on. We have to do multiple tests. In fact, we have declared this year is the Gaganyan testing year, and we are going to do the test, and we are going, we are getting ready for the actual mission. So, from the cryogenic engine, which we mastered with great difficulty, thanks to you, to now ready to fly Gaganyan with Indian astronauts, India is thankful to you. Thanks a lot, Dr. Narayanan.